Let's talk about Dart. What is it? How does it work? Why should we learn it? And how you can get started today? All of that and more in two minutes. Start the timer. Dart is a general purpose object oriented programming language created by Google in 2011. This language was created to assist in the development of front end user interfaces for both web and mobile applications. Dart is the language powering the Flutter framework. And if you didn't know, Flutter was also made by Google. How convenient. Flutter and Dart as a whole really pride themselves on being a multi-platform development space where you can build apps for any screen and for the most part they are. If you go to any official Dart documentation, you will notice that the words type safe are set a lot. All that means is that a variable's value always matches the variable static type. For example, if a variable static type was a string at runtime, you are guaranteed to only get a string when you evaluate it, which helps keeps the runtime errors to a minimum. But at the same time, Dart's typing system is flexible and allows us to use dynamic typing to avoid having to specify types every time. It makes the process much faster in general. Dart also provides null safety, which means values can't be null unless you say they can be, which again prevents more errors and app crashes. Now, how does the language really work when it comes time to execute your code? Well, Dart's compiler technology lets us run code in different ways. For apps targeting mobile and desktop devices, Dart uses two methods, one being a just-in-time compilation, or JIT, and the other being a ahead-of-time compiler, also known as AOT. Now, both of these methods essentially grabs your native code and turns it into machine code. The major difference between the two is the time in which each compilation takes place. Now, all of this is great and all, but why should we learn Dart? Well, the first reason is Dart is pretty flexible. And it's not just type safety like we spoke about earlier. There are many different ways to do things and you can run your code anywhere without limitations. Dart is also relatively easy to learn, especially if you know Java, C, or C Sharp, because it mirrors its look and feel right off the bat. And lastly, Dart is one of the most loved languages according to the annual survey on Stack Overflow, so you can feel reassured that the language is well embraced in the developer community. If you want to learn Dart and fully master this dynamic programming language, check out Zero to Mastery's full Dart Bootcamp course, where you'll go from beginner to expert.